<clears throat> yeah, um, I'm bringing a little bit of a testimony for things in, uh, that happened um, in dreams, types of dreams and everything that I had before I actually was saved and grounded in the Lord. Um, and it, this is just kind of a little bit of a warning that some of them are very graphic and kind of, uh, um, kind of horrific things that I actually dreamt about. And looking back at, um, over the subject matter, what I actually dreamt about, I was going through so many things because I put dates and everything on when I had these dreams and the time period that it was happening, uh, was a very confusing time in my early adulthood and um, I had many many things going on and I had I was pretty much being tormented and I had a lot of spiritual warfare coming at me but I did I mean I kind of knew what it was but yet at the same time I didn't know what it was but I also see some things in it of um, things that um, say Satan and his principalities would tempt you with and um, try to deceive you with so I thought it was kind of interesting that um, some of these were subject matters in my dreams and so I'm gonna go ahead and share out uh, share a little bit of them with you the, the things that I actually had in the dreams not not the dreams themselves, most of them, because it it would be very, very lengthy for one, and some of it was kind of um, uh, some graphic stuff that probably isn't the most appropriate thing, but I just want you to understand that even though that was happening to me and I was going through these things and having a lot of afflictions and spiritual warfare and everything. Um, I was being prayed over, which I didn't know at the time. Um, I didn't specifically, well, actually I did call upon him, but he probably, I don't know, maybe he, maybe he heard me, maybe he didn't. I don't think so because I wasn't actually saved and grounded. So I don't think he really heard me. I think it was more prayers of my loved ones and those that were saved that were around me that were praying and probably uh, because of that uh, somehow being an intervention um, years and years ago um, when I was younger which I I think I think I saw it said a little bit about it when I was very very young before we, we ever came to the east or the west coast that I was kind of like in the mid, middle, middle, um, uh, middle of the United States. And, um, there were lots of things going on at that time. And, um, my mom and everything was in church and, and I was in church with her and I sang with her. So I kind of remember a little bit of p bits and pieces of things that happened when I was younger. And I do remember kind of going to church. And then as I was growing up, I went off and on with my dad's church, not my mom, but with my dad's church. And it was like a Baptist church at the time. Um, that's, that's the only thing that I ever remember is like a Baptist church because I think that was the background for his family. And um, anyways, um, so I kind of did have a little bit of church upbringing part of the way I guess you could say because after they had gotten divorced um I was only with my dad like every other weekend so I didn't really have a lot of uh um I didn't have a lot of time that I actually was uh, dedicated all the time or every week or that, that I went to church except for you know around holidays of course you did a little bit more but um so I had a lot a lot tremendous amount of things happening as I was growing up things I went through didn't understand why things were happening the way they were why I had so much problems and everything um I just didn't understand and I was very confused so uh, I, it didn't get much better as I got to be a young adult 
but um, I do kind of see a little bit more the uh, the things that were going on at the time. I see it a little bit more clearly now than I did actually when I was going through it. So anyways, getting to the types of dreams that I had, um, I'm just going to basically tell you some of the things that I dreamt about, of course. And maybe you'll find some comparison in this, maybe some things that you went through. And if it does uh, seem a little similar in a way, things that, that happened to you whenever you um, um, were more in the world and, and, and having things happen before you were saved, or even someone that may be watching this that isn't saved yet, um, I went through many, many things and didn't understand a lot of what I was dreaming and, and going through, but I survived through it and I eventually came and dedicated myself and, um, was, you know, accepted Christ and, and became saved and I was more grounded in him. I would say more grounded because I had a little bit of it, so I, I wasn't completely ignorant of understanding of that there was God and and all the different things. Uh, I wasn't totally ignorant to everything or, or uh, didn't understand where we come from, who created uh, us, and things like that. I did have a little bit, and I did hear... Um, some of the children, biblical stories and that, as they tell you in some of the songs and stuff. So I did have a little bit of that. Many people didn't even have that, but I did. So maybe that was another little draw why I actually came to, but I, th I think it also had to do with things that I was going through. I was like, well, what do I have to lose? You know, I've tried just about everything else. i I know I feel that pulling on me like I need to come to him, but yet I was scared and I did a lot of running. I did a lot of things similar to Jonah, I guess you could say, although I didn't get swallowed by a fish. But uh, yeah, I, I did a lot of those things, um, but I've come full circle to what he wants me to do and um, sharing some experiences so maybe people can understand Anyways, the types of dreams that I had, and this was all like probably over, I would say about a three and a half year period, which was kind of strange too. I dreamt about old boyfriends, demons, being chased by a demon, and when it found out my name, it left me alone and disappeared. Uh, dreams of sexual connotations, marriage, having kids, ninjas of all things, cannibals, fortune telling, seers, sacrifice, cats, beheading, dark cloaked hooded figures laughing at me, uh, amusement parks, roller coasters, movie theaters with mirrors, I thought that was a little strange, concession stands, kissing booths, people I knew that were crying, and I never found out why exactly, being sickly like I was... Um, afflicted with something, uh, and always sick, leaving things at work, hordes of people thrashing stuff in a store, calling police for help, a ring that was too small, that, that it was given to me as a gift, and it was too small, and I had to exchange it for a bigger size, that kind of stood out, being pregnant, trading or exchanging guns, Elevator slamming shut before anyone else could get in. That stuck out. Um, having twins, and this uh, the having twins when I actually had a child, had ch children and everything in the dreams and stuff. Having twins seemed to be reoccurring a lot in my dreams. Um, screaming, disappearing people, musky smells, ringing phones, a yacht party which I've never been on a yacht in my entire life. 
、uh, four month delay. Some of the I'd have something in a dream or whatever, and like I'd have a some scene, and then four months later, something else would happen in the dream and everything. It was increments of four months being delays, which I thought was kind of strange. So I don't know, maybe that meant something.、Um, being nauseous, sick to my stomach a lot. Someone being tied up. This happened to actually somebody that I knew in one of the dreams. Someone being tied up with the tongue cut out. Shredded guts that were scattered. Excuse me, I know this is kind of gross, but、uh, toes and hands being chewed on, missing thumbs and big toes, throat ripped open from、uh, from the chin to the collarbone, and that was all kind of with the, the different stuff that had happened. So mutilation stuff、um, that happened in, in a particular dream, which was kind of horrific. Teleporting friends that actually had fangs. So when they smiled at me, I saw fangs.、Uh, fainting, waking up in a hospital after, of all things, four months, time lapse. Then two hours later, after I went into the hospital,、uh, I started going into labor, and、um, then I never saw the end of that.、Um, people I knew that became evil. <clears throat> that were standing around me, smiling and grinning, saying, "It's time." I thought that was really strange. That was kind of eerie.、Uh, winning a contest, winning phone numbers of famous people, and becoming their friend. Okay, I I know I had really weird dreams, but you got to understand, I still, I was very naive still in some of my stuff, and I was still kind of like starstruck. And things like that, so I've had a lot of kind of weird stuff, and I was very insecure too at the time.、Um, dating someone famous, getting paid money from the health department after the water was off because of an inconvenience of it being off, which I thought was, it was like twenty five hundred dollars or something. I think I don't know where I pulled that number out of the, out of the hats from, but. Uh, having a nice house, owning a nice house, and everything that I lived in, murder and mutilation by a serial killer that was going around, and then his victims—he drank their blood.、Uh, kids that I had being murdered, and other kids, you know, in the dream that I didn't know being murdered.、Um, burying kids,、um, which. Seemed odd, also in itself. I don't know. Maybe it was playing on fears and stuff. That's that's what I would think. It was probably playing on fears or something.、Uh, crying over graves,、uh, living by a freeway, stuff falling out of trucks that、uh, we got and was picking up and you know brought them home and things like that. Cats getting run over, having eight kids of all things. Be, being being、uh, the eight kids were like five boys and three girls, odd odd combination, and、um, uh, divorce, adultery, moving, werewolves of all things, vampires, fighting with fists and knives, being stabbed, rage, rolled parchment paper with signatures in blood. That really stood out. It was very, very, very odd. Immortality, drinking blood, giant snakes chasing me through a maze of sewer tunnels. Okay, that stood out too. That really made an impression on me.、Um, scared me at the time.、Um, someone laughing in my dream, like in the background and everything, and I couldn't see who they were. Um, someone I knew being sold as a slave because of making someone mad, and that person talking back to him, and then that person turned around and made them a slave and sold them like for ten dollars or something. It's really strange.、Um, then、um, eating chocolate covered insects, I know, gross,、uh, and getting sick,、uh, a carnival, and then this one really stood out too. A gypsy woman giving me a golden goblet, and then a blacked 
cloaked, hooded man telling me to drink from it and become like them. After drinking from that goblet, I felt a surge of untold knowledge from ages past. I really, really, that really stood out to me. And knowing now, you know, as I read in scripture and everything too, made me think of drinking the, uh, what was it? It's, it's in, I think it was in Revelation. I was talking about drinking the, Baby, drinking the wickedness, the, 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 the evil, the, you know, it's the woman. Okay. The harlot, I think. Uh, anyways, uh, that's what kind of, what image I got as I was like reading over. I was like, wow. When I was, cause I wrote everything down. I used to like keep a dream diary and everything. And I wrote a lot of this stuff down. So I was like, okay, I was really reading over some of these. I thought they were really strange, but some of them actually stood out more than others. And then um, my stepdad, which uh, my mom and him weren't technically married. They were common law marriage. In my state, it was common law marriage. They were together that long. Somehow being still alive, which he died of um, multiple cancers. The, the main one that ended up taking him out at the end was brain cancer. But anyways, he that he was still alive. And I was living at my old house from childhood which was uh, hot, very odd, fighting with friends and family, being chased by zombies, a mall of hell, house being broken into by thieves, friend helping to secure house after the theft, being cheated on, um, my husband leaving me because he didn't love me anymore, Cars zooming past the bedroom window all night long through open gates in the yard. I thought that was strange too. Family of black scorpion people. I know it sounds weird. That were my neighbors. Don't know why I dreamt something like this. Half of this stuff I was like, I didn't watch anything like that on a movie or hear anybody talking about anything like this. So I don't know why I dreamt half of what I dreamt. The, in these dreams. Um, then a cop telling me that I had to write out, write, not get, but write. This is what was really odd because I was like, okay, did I use the right word when I wrote this down? But that I had to write, like I had to personally write it out myself. Uh, write out a death certificate for a child termination. Um being stung by a black scorpion that comes up again but this is like a regular one that was given to me as a gift and then this one very odd too me and a friend which was my best friend at the time actually joined a club that recommended my friend a babysitter for her daughter and um after not passing their uh, uh, initiation test. Uh, when we returned uh, to the house, and I don't know if we were like living together, like as roommates or whatever, or we went to her house or what, that's a part of it wasn't clear. Anyways, we returned to her daughter and found that the babysitter had murdered her. And then my friend went into a rage and burned all of the club members with pyrokinesis for killing her daughter. I know it sounds strange. Being attacked by a werewolf, family reunion of husband's kin, and they were all werewolves, uh, living in a forest cabin, running scared with and this is really weird because this was <laughs> it was really strange it was it, it had to do something with the with the werewolf things and stuff anyways i was running scared away and i was running so fast i was running actually faster than these wild turkeys that were riding like uh, running side by side with me i was actually passing them up which i thought was really strange i don't know maybe that's means something in particular too. 
um, hearing sorrowful howling, like a like a wolf howling, but like a lonesome sorrowful howl. My husband turning into a werewolf and looking at me with this bloodlust in his eyes, being a werewolf. Like, you know, it was really strange. Um, moving to a new house that was haunted. Okay. <laughs> It, it just, it just gets, seems like it gets weirder and weirder. And a demon seducing my husband. When I'm thinking this, you know, when I wrote it down, like as I wrote it in a little entry in the dream diary, it, uh, a demon that seduces, okay, a female demon basically seducing my husband. Okay. So that would be, <laughs> that would be a succubus. Okay which is a female demon. So I was like, okay, uh, that's odd. And then my husband signing his soul away. Okay. This is, you know, I don't know, really weird stuff. Um, I guess to this woman. And then, uh, I guess me going after this woman thing, whatever, when I found out about it and she turned around and she transformed into a demonic fire breathing gargoyle and attacked me and she spits fire at me and then a year, it kind of lapses a little bit of time and kind of goes years later or whatever and then <clears throat> i get an offer by a very charismatic man about giving me anything i desire okay and when you think, you know, when you think of being given anything you desire, you're thinking kind of like, okay, this is the devil or something, you know, you know, back then you're thinking something like that. I'm like the devil trying to get you to get your soul and all that. That's the way I thought back then, you know, because I was still in the world. And, um, then, uh, being somehow entranced by this very charismatic man and uh, being offered immortality, okay, um, my husband being kidnapped, me being kidnapped, uh, let's see, with my oldest son at the time, being like a goddess and could fly, being a vampire and drinking blood. Okay, all these dreams mind you remember okay these are all before i became saved so i had such odd things some of them are actually things that people are getting mixed up in and uh um uh, deceived by now and these are probably the same types of things that people are getting attacked within their spiritual way. We know demons are coming at you a lot of times in your dreams. And uh, even when you're awake, they'll try to plague you. They'll try to whisper in your ear and tell you things and deceive you. All kinds of stuff. We're getting plagued left and right. And it's, it's not just happening to us. There are people that it's happening to... One, either they're going to be a strong warrior f for God and um, uh, so they're, they're having what, like what happened to me for years and years, different things, and they just still haven't come to Christ. Okay. Or ever, you know, because the time being so short and um, the, the time progressing like it is and prophecy is being fulfilled, they understand Satan and the principalities understand that the time is running out. Okay. They still think they're going to win. Okay. Which of course we know will not happen because in it, you know, we know God's going to triumph no matter what. Okay. And his word will be fulfilled, but they're going to try to take as many souls with them as they can before that end comes. Okay. And they can plague people for years or a short amount of time like now that it's starting to increase because if they think they get the people so bogged down with this that keeps them in bondage and everything like it did for, for 
me for you so many years that they're going to keep those people from coming to Christ for for even seeking out the truth and it it's it's the kind of deception that is pretty much the same as it has always been same game plan of Satan and his principalities and probably will never change.